Hello, this is the Watchdog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review the Wur 8849 chronograph. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing the Scamie 1816 Amish to Cassio Oak. And Greg was wearing my Pagine Design PD1734 with a VH31 movement that takes four times a second. Grogu said he heard bo talking and it sounded like she said she saw the mythosaur. Mando told him they went on a long hike and said she was rubbing her feet saying misosaur. Alright, let's take a look at the watch. It comes in this box with a cleaning cloth, instructions, sizing tool, hang tag, and an extra link. I removed one. But here it is. It's not a bad looking watch. This is the second word on my channel. The last word was a solid steel watch with a solid bracelet priced around $40. This one is a chrome plated alloy with a hollow bracelet priced in the low 20s. Looking at the other words on AliExpress, the chrome plated cheaper watches seem to be the norm and appear to be words bread and butter. There are many different colorways. You have this panda and a reverse panda with a black ceramic bezel. Then you have gold colored watches with black, gold, or green dials with gold metal bezels. I chose the panda because it's what I prefer. The watch is 38.1 millimeters at the bezel. And it actually looks like it's bigger than that, but no, that's what it is. 48 millimeters lug to lug, 53.8 if you count the protruding end links. It's 11.5 millimeters thick, has a 20 millimeter lug width, and weighs 104 grams on the supply bracelet with one link removed, which is pretty light for a metal watch to this size, which goes to show you what a hollow bracelet will do. We have a ceramic bezel with a tachymeter, and as you can see, the bezel's out of alignment. Either that or the dial's out of alignment. I would say the bezel, the dial looks straight, but the bezel does not. Then the dial, we have the word name and logo, where the logo's at the 12. Then it says 3 ATM waterproof. Waterproof, they should never say waterproof because it's really just water resistant. Then it says chronograph sport. Then uh, the dial, as you can see, has no real sunburst effect, but the subdials do. And then it has, uh, the indices have ju jewels in them. I'm sure they're fake jewels or faux jewels. And then we have, so, so since they have jewels, they are not loomed at all. But the hands are loomed, but the second hand is not. As you can see, the second hand, the big second hand is the running second hand. And the chronograph second hand is the small one. I do not like that kind of setup. I prefer it to be the opposite, but that's just the reality of cheaper chronographs. Then as you can see, it's got 15, 30, and 45. Uh, so those indices are not jewels but they are not loomed either. You have this chapter ring with ticks. This being a cheap chronograph, the right sub dial is a 24 hour indicator, but it, look at the dial, it's, it's got one through 12. It doesn't have one through 24, so you have to double everything. So that's gonna be a gripe and groan. And then the bottom sub dial is the chronograph hand and the left sub dial is the minute chronograph. And uh, so as you can see, the, the chronograph just ticks once a second. There is no sub-second dial or anything like that. Then you press it again to stop it. Then the reset, it, it's not a mecha cord, so you got a fast rewind. Then the crown is a unsigned push-pull. This only has the basic 30 meters, so you're not going to get a screw-down crown for that. And these pushers, the, they look like they're screw-down, but that's all fake. It, the grips are just for show. Then the crown action is pretty loose, and then when you go to set it, and press it in, 
there's a noticeable minute hand jump and so that's going to be a gripe and groan then once again the pushers are not screwed down then the crystal is just a flat mineral glass you're not going to get sapphire at this price and then the case is a chrome plated alloy this is not a solid steel watch and you can really tell because everything is shiny everywhere where if it was real steel there'd be some brushwork somewhere usually Then the case back looks like it's a screw down coin edge, but it's not because you can see the slot there to put a pry bar. And because once again, you only get the 30 meters. Then it's got the word name and logo and the model number. And then it says stainless steel back, which is another tell that the rest of the watch is not. Underneath the case back is a quartz movement. I don't know what type it is. I didn't feel like popping the case. It probably wouldn't tell me anyway. It just it's not Japanese because they'd advertise that. It's more than likely a Chinese movement. Then the bracelet is a hollow bracelet with hollow end links. And as you can see, rather than being a uh, Polished in the middle and brushed on the sides. It's the exact opposite. It's brushed in the middle and polished on the sides It's not a horrible bracelet. I've definitely felt a lot worse, but you can definitely tell it's hollow and not very expensive It just has that cheap feel to it Then we have the clasp. The clasp is, is not good at all Not only is it pressed it's uh it's got the side push which takes up all the room of the clasp so you only get two holes of micro adjust which is when you have links this big you need more than two holes that's for sure and then when you go to close it it's really you have to push hard to close it and you have to hit it perfect too it's pretty easy to miss it is sign but it's just not a very good clasp at all Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. It's a little loose. And as you can see, the clasp came undone with just me playing with it. But if I make it any tighter, it'll be too tight. And it's not a heavy watch since it's only about a hundred grams. It's okay to wear it a little loose, which is one saving grace for the fact it only has two holes of micro adjust that if you have to wear it loose, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it does look nice. It just it just has a cheap feel to it. Here we are in the loom room. Just wearing it, I knew the loom was bad, but wow, is it ever bad. As I speed up the time, it is gone already. Just as bad as that fangine I reviewed. Only the George was worse. What do I like about this watch? Well, I do like the dial. I think the dial looks nice. And I do like this ceramic bezel even though it's misaligned. And the second hand mostly hits the marks, misses a few of them, but it's not bad. It's not gonna set off your quartz second hand OCD. And it's kind of fun to have jeweled indices rather than badly loomed indices. What are my gripes and groans? Some of the worst loom I've ever seen, misaligned bezel, really bad clasp with only two holes of micro adjust. Uh, minute hand jumps when you set it and it has the small chronograph hand and not the large Do I recommend this watch now really for the price? I think you can get a better chronograph so I Didn't really enjoy wearing this watch and I just really find it hard to recommend It, it is a step below the other were I reviewed which was at least all stainless steel well, thank you for watching my review of the Were 8849, and I will be back with another review. I am so far behind in my reviews right now. I need to catch up. I'll probably be shooting another one tomorrow. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.